Okay, I just recently woke up out of a dream. And I want to tell this dream before I actually forget it. Um, I dreamt that I was at my store. It was me, uh, one of my nephews, and another family member. And as you walk into my store, of course, there's the store area. And then as you walk further back, there's a door. Inside that door is a little storage area. Well, in the dream, when I walked into the storage area, I noticed on the far right of me, on that wall, was an open door with a light shining out as if um, someone turned the light on. Now, in my store, there is no door there. But in the dream, there was a door and the door was open. So my family member, she walked in and she like, and I called her in, I said, look, I said, there's a door in here. I said, this door, this there's a door in here, right? And I said, and then she walked in and she walked in, she looked, she went inside the door. And I'm like, you going in there? So I went over where she was and when I walked in the door, I walked in part of the way. I didn't go all the way in, but I walked in just enough. And inside this door was another room. And to the left was looked like some flower pots or some type of uh, plants or whatever. There was a little creature. Looked like a little gerbil or something. And she saw it and she picked it up and she was playing with this little gerbil thing. And then all of a sudden... There was like a little leopard about maybe this size, a little tiny leopard. Um, leopard appeared and then it vanished. And I'm like, did you see that? And she said, what? I'm like, did, did you see that little animal? And then it appeared again. And then there was another little leopard. Two animals appeared, appeared at the same time. And I'm looking at these little animals. So I'm like, you know what? I said, I think we better back out of this place because we don't know what these creatures are. So as I'm backing out, a human being, a female appeared. She just like, just, just popped in, right? And she's looking at us and we're looking at her trying to figure out who she was, but we didn't want to run because we didn't know what these people were, where they came from or anything. So then there was another person appeared and she looked at me and she said, you look like a rather strange something. There was a word she used. I've never heard this word before. And she was giving description of my lips. She said, you have some rather whatever lips, whatever it was, however she described it. And I'd ask, I said, where did you guys come from? And she was like, they were just like looking around and was saying that this was a rather strange place. And then she, um, I said, well, I said, what's your name? And she said her name was Jenna. She said her name was Jenna, right? And I said, where did you come from? And then she's like walking around and I, could, I can't remember the uh, conversation we were having, but we were talking back and forth and I can't remember what she was saying. And so I started slowly backing out of that room and I told my my family member said, let's, let's go out. I said, because I don't want these beings of people to come over here, you know, to come in here. So I closed the door. We backed out, closed the door. And I figured like once I close that door, everything is cool. Well, after I closed the door, this female kind of like popped through the door onto this side. And I'm looking like, and then it was like, about two others that came over. And when I was questioning one of them, trying to find out who they were or where they came from, I guess I was standing a little too close. And she was like, so, she said something and this energy kind of like, not violently, but kind of pushed me back or whatever to kind of put distance between me and her. She didn't really like for us to be too close to her. 
And so I'm trying to talk to these people to find out who they were and where they came from. And then I, I finally woke up, but there were some other things I can't remember. And that's why I wanted to make this video so that what little I do remember, I can tell you guys. So when I woke up, I looked up Jenna, but there's a lot of females out there named Jenna, right? But this female said her name was Jenna and they came from a different world. They came from a totally different dimension. But when I walked inside um, that little storage area, there was a door that's not usually there. There's no door there, but it was an open door and a light was shining through. And when I walked inside this little room, I saw these little creatures, uh, these little animals, whatever you want to call them. And there was like two little leopards, right? But they were really small. You can hold them in your hand, in the palm of your hand, like little leopards. And they were they were appearing and then disappearing. You know, I hate using the term pop up, but they were appearing and disappearing. And then these people appeared, you know, and um, I was trying to get out of that room and close the door because I didn't want them to come over into this side. And they came like right through the door, you know, and one of the females, she said her name was Jenna. Right. So what do you guys think about that? Did I dream of an a portal that is now open in this world. And don't be surprised if we start seeing strange creatures. Already we see weird insects and bugs and things, but don't be surprised if we start seeing strange creatures and human beings or what appear to be human beings. Because a lot of weird things are happening now in this world. Right. So it's kind of weird that I went to sleep and I had that dream and I woke up out of the street and I was trying to remember. I was trying to remember their names. I remember Jenna. But I was trying to remember the conversation that we had. So feedback. Tell me what you think. Peace.